please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the University of Central Lancashire, I'm delighted to warmly welcome you to Preston Guild Hall and to this graduation ceremony. On this special day, we are here to proudly celebrate the achievements of our students from the Faculty of Health and Wellbeing and the Faculty of Business, Law and Applied Social Studies. I now call upon the Vice-Chancellor, Professor Mike Thomas, to give his address. Good afternoon, everybody. Pro-Chancellor, honoured guests, ladies and gentlemen, members of the University Board, honorary fellows and our graduates. It's a great pleasure to welcome you to this graduation ceremony at which we acknowledge and celebrate the achievements of you. I always look forward to graduation ceremonies and the chance for the University of Central Lancashire, its staff, board members and honorary fellows to celebrate such an important day for you, your families and your friends. Today, we celebrate graduates and postgraduates from the Lancashire School of Business and Enterprise, the Centre for Excellence in Learning and Teaching, School of Health Sciences, and the Lancashire Law School. This is your day. I hope you enjoy both the ceremony itself and the celebrations, which I know will continue afterwards with your family and friends. This is an interesting time to graduate from universities. Britain is in the middle of its negotiations to exit from the European Union and a new world, a different world, of trading, business, civic and cultural links now awaits the United Kingdom. The government has also released its industrial strategy with its focus on technology and new innovations to ensure that the British economy continues to be competitive in this new global stage. It is clear from the figures appearing from a variety of sources that graduate jobs remain a premium and firms that wish to succeed in whatever field will seek out graduates. This applies equally in the public sector. As graduates and postgraduates, you are the vanguard of the next evolution in working. It means new and innovative ways of integrated working has to be developed and implemented. There has to be closer collaboration and shared resources across a number of different agencies with an increasingly difficult budgetary position, which means that the public services and industry will seek out those graduates that are creative, innovative and skillful. Most importantly, employers will seek out graduates who can demonstrate different methods of solving problems and more collaboration across skills and professions. In the public sector, there will be even more emphasis on compassion and on those professions who can both demonstrate and convey the ethos of the public spirit. And some of you graduating today may choose not to work in the commercial sector or the public sector, and may choose instead to work for yourself and set up your own company. The University of Central Lancashire will hopefully have prepared you for that option as well. We have more student start-up businesses than all the universities in the North West combined, with over 1,000 companies la launched in the last three years, 850 of which are still in business. If that is your choice, this is an interesting time to commence your ambitions. Be sure that the university will continue to help you if that's the direction you wish to travel. And as a broad-based university, we will continue to help talented people from all walks of life to make the most of their potential, moulding informed leaders, creative thinkers and bold business minds. We are a university where committed people are inspired to develop their ideas and dreams 
and that includes self-employment or graduate startups. The university at its core beats within the heart of Lancashire and our mission is to uphold community cohesion and to promote and develop peaceful means of dealing with social issues, problems or difficulties, as well as play an economic role in our community. We are a learning institution. Our product is knowledge and we cherish our role in Lancashire to help with research, innovation and development. That home in Lancashire acts a base for our global ambitions. So wherever you work, whether that's in commerce, business, music, arts, science, technology, food, public sector, be proud that it's here in Lancashire you have a sense of community and a sense of place and of engagement and of belonging. Because you are alumni of this university, we will always support you. But we can't do this on our own. Our success is achieved together, staff and students seeking new knowledge to provide clarity and certainty as we go forward in a world that seems more confusing and complex. We hope as you graduate and you have your postgraduates that you move on with your life, that you will hold on to the beliefs and values enshrined in our university. Common sense, the judgment to do the right things for others. Compassion, to treat others with consideration, care and honesty. Teamwork, to think and act together and value collective as highly as individual achievements. Attentiveness, to take people and your own professional pride in the quality of your work and show that you can listen and care for others as you do that work. And finally, trust, showing respect and integrity in all that you will do. Remember, you are graduates and postgraduates, so observe, analyse and devise new solutions to the things that life will bring to you. Keep learning, exercise your intellect, be ready to intervene as you go on with life, seek to make a difference and get involved. And make the most of every opportunity that comes along. Don't let chances and opportunities pass you by and don't be afraid or unwilling to try different things and forge your own path. But equally, be ready to compromise when you need to. We know, as I stand here today and look at you, that you have the ability to understand complex issues. We know you can be critical in making judgments. We know you have the confidence to challenge. We know you can have an impact on the status quo by applying your own intellect. We know that you would have developed a value for society and a willing, willingness to make a personal contribution. We tested you. You have passed the assessment. You are graduates and postgraduates. And we therefore look to you. You are our future hope. Participate in processes and debates. Participate in organisations. Participate in business and commerce. And keep that heart of Lancashire beating strongly throughout the world. The university provided a space for you to pursue different views, discuss new ideas, and explore different perspectives. You've also looked at different methodologies and looked at different solutions. But remember, there is more to your degree and postgraduate degree than a reductionist economic return. Keep those university values with you. We also know, and I'm sure relatives, friends, and colleagues will know this, that gaining the award you, which we, you have earned and which we celebrate today is difficult. That must be so. Few things in life of genuine value are easy to gain, and success in universities is far from easy. We would have demanded from you dedication, commitment, intellectual endeavour, and hard work. I'm sure that many of you here in the audience today, families and friends and colleagues, would have been called upon to provide a helping hand in your journey. And so on your behalf, I ask that you join me in thanking and showing our, our appreciation to those that have helped you on your journey.
We are an academic community dedicated to learning and supporting transformation. You would have been taught by a dedicated group of academic staff, many of whom are international leaders in their field and all of whom devote their professional lives to teaching, research, learning and the development of you, our students. You would have also been supported by many highly dedicated professional staff who have provided the services and infrastructure that have made your success in the university possible. For example, I'd like to thank our two interpreters here today, Babs Duffy and Cheryl Underhill, who helped you to understand, hopefully, what I'm saying. <laughs> On your behalf, I would like to thank every one of our staff and ask once again that you join me in applauding them. In a few minutes, the name of our graduates and postgraduates will be called out and we will applaud and cheer. So please make as much noise as you can. This is a celebratory ceremony. If you have young children or infants, please, we don't mind, let them make as much noise as they wish. They don't need to leave the auditorium. We welcome them. Each individual will enter on the stage right as graduate, you'll cross the stage, you'll shake my hand in the middle and exit stage left as graduates and postgraduates. I know everyone in the audience will be as enthusiastic with your applause for the first graduate as you will be for our final graduate. We take great pride in your achievement. I'm confident that you'll go out into the world and bring not only real social and economic benefit to yourself, but also to the communities in which you will live. Whatever you decide to do next, wherever in the world you find yourself, you'll always be a member of this university. I hope at some stage you will return to your academic home, but for now, on behalf of everybody here, very well done, congratulations, and good luck for a happy and successful life. Thank you. Pro-Chancellor, Vice-Chancellor, honoured guests, ladies and gentlemen, the Academic Board confers an honorary fellowship on David Moyes. I now invite the Pro-Chancellor to deliver the citation. Good afternoon. Let's try that one again. Good afternoon. That's much better. I think the little kids in the audience are enjoying it a lot more than you graduates at the moment. So smile and enjoy. It's a great, it's a great life. And as it says on the program, it's the first day of the rest of your life. It's my honor and pleasure to do the citation for David Moyes. David was born in Glasgow in the early 1960s and joined Celtic uh, as a trainee. He made 35 appearances for Celtic. And after Celtic, he played for five league clubs in both Scotland and in England. And then in 1993, David signed for my beloved Preston North End. David made 172 appearances for the club, which is, which is most appearances, I think, for any, for any club. Uh, and he scored 19 goals. And believe it or not, I can remember most of them. My wife um, always says that you can't remember the dates of birth of your children, but you can remember who scored versus Shrewsbury in 19 or whatever. <laughs> so, so I was working out before. I've known David uh, for, and Pamela, uh, David's wife, for, for 24 years. And in all of that time, uh, David has lived in Preston and brought his family up here. In 1998, we appointed David as our manager and were criticized by our fans for having no ambition in appointing a young, unknown coach. David took us from the lower reaches of the third division to the playoff final in 2001. We were 90 minutes away from the, from the Premier League. Didn't quite make it. But just to explain to those of you that may not be interested in, in football to the same degree maybe as David and I are, uh, the playoff final, apart from being the, the gateway to the Premier League, it's the richest game in world sport. 
And way back in 2001, that game was worth 50 million pounds. And we were turning over at that time as a club about three, three million. So it gives you a feel for how, it, for how important. David obviously now had built a reputation. And in 2002, David went to Everton as manager. And the fans who attacked us for appointing us then attacked us for letting him go to a Premier League club. And David was hugely successful at Everton, 234 games in charge and a 48% win rate, which is a fabulous track record. From then, David went to Man U and succeeded Alex Ferguson. I, th I think a task which most would agree was, was not short of mission uh, impossible. He then went on to Real Sociedad, Sunderland, and has now been appointed in the last few weeks to the management of West Ham. So you'll tell from that that David's a lad that enjoys a challenge. But of all these facts and statistics, the most important one is the following. David started his coaching badges at the age of 22. Now, if I try and put that in context in terms of today, that means you would have been embarking on your degree courses around about the age of nine. Because footballers don't normally think about the future until they're very close to the end of their career. So David is actually one of the most qualified coaches in, in, in the UK today. And in all the 24 years I've known him, what I've known is he has a zest to learn. He wants to learn. He brought in scientific methods, control of diet, all the, all the parts of the, mod, the modern game. David was always on the hunt for new things to do and new ways of doing things. I think the learning might be a bit of a Scottish thing, David. I think we maybe share that in common. Football has many characters, uh, more than its fair share of egos, and one or two idiots as well. So I'm very proud indeed today to confirm and do the citation for David's honorary fellowship. David is an honest, committed, working class man. David's a family man. David, by adoption, is a son of Preston, and he's a friend both of you clan and myself. Thank you. Chancellor, on behalf of the Academic Board, it is with great pleasure that I present David Moyes for the award of Honorary Fellow of the University of Central Lancashire. Good afternoon and welcome to, to everybody. Firstly, I'd like to thank the university for the honour of a honorary fellow. It's a great honour for me and for my family. It's the reason why, as we came to Preston 24 years ago, with no idea of the, how my career would go, as David rightly said, I was a player uh, and just an okay player, but I had a decent career and a good football career, which I was still enjoying when I came to Preston. But it was probably on my arrival to Preston, I was really fortunate that I met people who believed in me, gave me an opportunity, saw potential. And that person on the day was Brian Green, the board of the board of Preston North End. Those people then saw something in a young man, what David alluded to there, that the job I work in, everybody's interested in getting the biggest name they can. But the board had seen youthfulness, potential, energy, dedication. And that's exactly what I had when I was a young man coming into, coming into the job. And because of that, it got me the start which I needed in football, or certainly in football management, I should say. The people who I went on to work for after that were great people. I worked at Everton Football Club. I worked at Manchester United Football Club. I had a period in Spain which was fantastic as far as uh, different culture, different organization. And I have to say, I came back and I've had some good jobs and I've come back as well, working with some great people. But what I will, I will say to you is, when I started out as a young boy in Glasgow, I never at any time envisaged that I would end up in managing, for example, the biggest club in the world, or working with some of the best people of, of directors I've had. That wasn't, but I was very fortunate that when I, when I did start to become a coach or want to practice to become a coach, I had really good tutors. 
some of you all know them, some of you won't, but people like Alex Ferguson, Alex Smith, Andy Roxburgh were all terrific Scottish football coaches. And if you know any history of football, you would find out that Scottish football coaches over the years have had a great record. Bill Shankly, Sir Matt Busby, Jock Steen, many more. And I always thought that if I ever got to the stage that I was good enough, I would want to try and give something back because I believed that the coaches I, who taught me in the early days, were trying to give me something and help me develop. So as I've got older, and you all will one day as well, the job is to give something back. The job when you get older is to come back to Preston, come back to the city and help the future graduates, help the future children develop. And I see my job now is to try and integrate much more closely with the university, see if I can help my leadership, my management, uh, communication, all the skills what it takes to, to be in my business, but in truth it probably is all the skills that is needed in any business. So I do ask you pupils that don't forget today and don't forget in 20 years time when you will be the people who will be needed to come back here and do what I'm doing today. Before I finish today, I'd like to say congratulations to all the parents because I know how proud you all are. I was very proud. My daughter just recently graduated as well. And I'm sure you know the effort what your, your boys, girls have all gone through to get to the position they're in. It doesn't happen easy. Hours and hours of, hours of study, work, commitment by the parents as well to get their, their pupils to this point. So you should all be very proud of your, your pupils and hopefully they'll all go on to serve you in the future, having great careers and whatever they choose to do. I'd like to finish today by thanking my wife and my family who've really supported me throughout my career. You know, wherever it's been, and I have to say that life isn't always an easy track. It's not all going up the way. At times in life, it can go down as well. But I think the important thing is to stay focused. Keep your eye on the goal where you want to get to. And I wish you all the very best to pupils. I congratulate you all. The achievement to do what you're doing is fantastic. It really is the effort you put in. Good luck to you all, and I hope to see you around someday. Thank you. Pro-Chancellor, Vice-Chancellor, the presentation of graduates and award holders will now take place. Vice-Chancellor, on behalf of the Academic Board, I present those who have gained awards in the Lancashire School of Business and Enterprise. For a thesis entitled Determinants of Use of Financial Services in Tanzania, a study of behavioural factors, the degree of Doctor of Philosophy is awarded to Bupe Jokam Wakusia. Master of Arts in Accounting and Finance, Faisal Arif. Tasmia B. Wilson Ballamy. Lewis Mooring.
Mohamed Soya. Arthur Wellington. Master of Science in Finance and Management, Meiju Feng. Callum Sturgeon. Jose Wang. Master of Science in International Business and Management, Habul Abdullah Yahaya. Jute Deng. Ming Feng Liao. Yu Meng Li. Wen Wen Lao. With the school prize for the highest average percentage mark, Shabaz Ali Mahmood. Ray Amandi Ocheng. Mahmooda Rahman. Yi Hong Su. Kelly Chofo Mantho. Donny Chakwa Willem Parambil Francis. CC Yang. Shu Wei Yu. Yan Yan. Wen Chang. Master of Science in International Business and Management with the school prize for the best dissertation, Lynn Gillen. Master of Science in International Festivals and Tourism Management, Christopher Spence. Master of Science in Marketing Management, Judith Barch. Jacob Bedford. Zing Wen Chang. Rugu Jiang. Gemma Louise Johnson. Arif Mashoud. Arta Prokopenko. Tian Ki. Shi Shannon Robertson. Kyle Anthony Sprout. Curtis Strange. With the school prize for the highest average percentage mark. Jeremy Touche. <laughs> Shooting Zhang. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Accounting, Wakwa Shazad Ashraf. <laughs> Samantha Danielle Edwards. Merrick Edward Guja. Adiola Adigum Koalo. Diploma in Higher Education in Accounting, Harima Salim.
Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Accounting and Business, Zaid Musa. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Accounting and Financial Studies, Zahid Ali. <laughs> Yiqing Chen. <laughs> Nabil Chen Tooth. Ming Tian, <laughs> Jian Yi, <laughs> Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Business and Marketing, Rosina Hussein, <laughs> Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Business Studies, Soa Khan. Jess Michael McEwen. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Combined Studies, Alexandra Needley. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Economics, Matas Kildisi. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts with Honours International Business, Michael Joel Abdaho. Nan Hu, Wu Zan Huang, Zai Chan Chang, <laughs> Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Marketing Management, Roberto Mercio Goef Al Amandia. Hazel Louise Parry. <laughs> Bachelor of Science with Honours in Economics, Zayab Hirad. <laughs> Master of Business Administration, Lindsay Campbell. <laughs> Anthony Thomas Brian Jones. Mohammed Amjad Khan. <laughs> Master of Science in Business Management, Emma Ambrose. <laughs> Philip Boyle. <laughs> Dave Clayton. <laughs> Kale Natasha Corliss. Helen Ann Eccleston, <laughs> Dominica Frodima, <laughs> Ju Una Lua, <laughs> Ian Mattison, <laughs> Jack Price. Sana Shaz Azadi, <laughs> Selena Schwein, <laughs> Chunlin Zhang, <laughs> Master of Science in Human Resource Management, Abigail Baycroft. Marie Suzanne Yvonne Bruel, <laughs> Jaylin Fu, <laughs> Joanne Hazley, <laughs> with the school prize for the best dissertation, Jessica, Jessica Louise Hall. Jonathan Mather. <laughs> Rachel Catherine Penny. <laughs> Bryony Williams. <laughs> Master of Science in International Hospitality and Event Management, 
Jack Yu Tay. <laughs> Master of Arts with internship in international tourism, hospitality and events management with the divisional prize for the highest overall average percentage mark, Ryan Johnston. <laughs> Master of Science in International Hospitality and Tourism Management, Yu Li. <laughs> Jean Shen. Chicago Tamari. <laughs> hey Wen Yan. <laughs> Ru Hu Shu. <laughs> Yuan Tian. Master of Science in Logistics and Supply Chain Management, Xi'an Lua. <laughs> Postgraduate Certificate in Business and Management Research Methods, Dan Shabi Godwin Gaya. <laughs> Postgraduate Certificate in Management, Hazel Lund. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Business and Management, Joel Douglas Hand. <laughs> John Andrew Gould. <laughs> Omar Alexandro Scandella. Natalie Walters. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Events Management, Reese Roberts. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Global Business Management, Ru Wang. <laughs> Tian Yang Wang. Tian? The next one. <laughs> Natalia. Natalia, right, okay. This is a Bachelor of Arts with Honours in International Tourism Management. Natalia Analia Radazio. <laughs> Foundation degree in Arts and Business. Kevin Anthony Jackson. Vice-Chancellor, that concludes the presentation of awards from the Lancashire School of Business and Enterprise. <laughs> Chancellor, on behalf of the Academic Board, I present those who have gained awards in the Centre for Excellence in Learning and Teaching. Professional Doctorate in Education. For a thesis entitled, Student Voice in Higher Education, Students and Tutors' Perceptions of Its Utilisation and Purpose, the degree of Doctor of Professional Studies is awarded to Sandra Shaffey. Master of Education in Professional Practice in Education, Kinga Maria Jones.
Christine Pike. Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Education and Psychology, Natalie Butler. <laughs> Chancellor, that concludes the presentation of awards from the Centre for Excellence in Learning and Teaching. Chancellor, on behalf of the Academic Board, I present those who have gained awards in the School of Health Sciences. For a thesis entitled, Outcome Feedback in Physiotherapy, What Works for Whom, In Which Circumstances, the degree of Doctor of Philosophy is awarded to Alison Clare Parrish. Master of Science in Advanced Practice, Aliama Abraham. <laughs> Pamela Astley. <laughs> Stacy Louise Brown. <laughs> Barbara Earnshaw. Danielle Marie Eastwood. <laughs> Catherine Ellis. <laughs> Caroline Diane Gormery. <laughs> Lisa Joanne Hall. <laughs> Amanda Jane Hoff. Amanda Jones. <laughs> Katrina Maria McKinley. <laughs> Alexandra Mackay. <laughs> Carolyn Ann Piper. David Paul Simpson. <laughs> Gillian Woods. <laughs> Master of Science in Allied Health Practice, Andrew Cowderoy. <laughs> Richard James Holmes. Master of Science in Health Informatics, Anjum Shazad. <laughs> Nicola Fay Warburton. <laughs> Bachelor of Science with Honours in Nurse Practitioner, Gemma May Hatton. Nicola Louise Hewitt. <laughs> Lauren Charlotte Kipax. <laughs> Simon Edward Paul Weaver. <laughs> Bachelor of Science with Honours in Operating Department Practice, Ashley Fay Allen. Sam Corburn. <laughs> Heather Elizabeth Darwin. <laughs> Raki Dar. <laughs> Ra
Liza Jane Glover. Thomas Hobbardsty. And with the cost prize for the best academic performance, Claire Matthews. Amy Louise Maud. Amy McClellan. Selena Meredith. Amanda Alice Smith. Jack Sutherland. Amy Wellham. And with the course prize for the most inspiring student, Marsan Zadlow. <laughs> Bachelor of Science with Honours in Professional Practice, Eileen Jennifer Rhodes. <laughs> Bachelor of Science with Honours in Physiotherapy, Sarah Cochlin. Robert Tucker. Bachelor of Science with Honours in Sports Therapy, Joshua John Arnold. Zakia Hussein. Graduate Certificate in Critical Care Nursing, Andrea Ince. And Jen C. Thomas. Diploma of Higher Education in Paramedic Practice, Jonathan Nicholas Armand. Amy Claire Bailey. Martin Brian Ball. Amy Louise Burns. And with the course prize for the best academic performance, Vicky Campbell. Stephen Costello. Declan Craven. Ewan Dunlop. Beth Entwistle. David Fraser. Jacob Gartside. <laughs> Jessica Hoyle. <laughs> Rebecca Hunt. <laughs> Nicola McKee. <laughs> Jared Michael Money. Catherine Elizabeth Moore. <laughs> Emily Morris. <laughs> Felicity Lisa Jane Pickering. <laughs> Stephanie Rosthorn. <laughs> Ian Richard Rayton. Holly Elizabeth Rooney. <laughs> Heidi Russell. <laughs> Helen
Catherine Rosalind Shaw. Elizabeth Jane Sumner. Craig Terry. Ruth Ann Thor. Matthew James Timperley. Frank Nicol Warwick. Natalie Wesley. Stevie Williams Hearn. Chancellor, that concludes the presentation of awards from the School of Health Sciences. Vice Chancellor, on behalf of the Academic Board, I present those who have gained awards in the Lancashire Law School. For a thesis entitled A Comparative Study on Liability Issues, concerning maritime transportation of dangerous goods, international and Chinese perspectives, the degree of Doctor of Philosophy is awarded to Enan In. Fahana Ali. Uwes <laughs> Ali. Shakira Bagas. Brandon Butterfield. Jessica Chloe Dennis. Dorota Dominica Eskowska. With the School Prize for Meritorious Performance and the School Certificate of Achievement in Family Law and in Intellectual Property Law, Nicola Fitzhugh. Chelsea Hayworth. With the School Certificate of Achievement in Commercial Insolvency Law, Charlotte Hurst. <laughs> Jeanette Jacks. <laughs> Anique Marilyn Khan. <laughs> With the School Certificate of Achievement in Immigration Law, Kajal Nayi. Veronique Aday. With the School Certificate of Achievement in Personal Injury and Clinical Negligence, Sana Patel. Debbie Perrin. With the Sweet and Maxwell Prize for Outstanding Contribution, Sophie Piper. Luke Robinson. Jessica Shacklock. Aretha Sadat. Georgina Smith Charles. Alicia Stevenson. <laughs> Master of Laws in Financial and Commercial Law, Mohammed Hassabal Hassan. <laughs> Amelia Nekam Kanwa Oris Onyiri. <laughs> Kate 
Katie Jane Rourke. Master of Laws in Forensic and Legal Medicine, Claire Louise Treyers. Master of Laws in International Business Law, with the School Award for Outstanding Performance, Lucy Harper. <laughs> Chao Kei Huang. Utkash Leo. Master of Laws in Legal Practice, Preeti Aujayeb. Afia Nilma Begum, <laughs> Janaid Musabuta, <laughs> Ruth Chanda, <laughs> Matthew Roy Church, <laughs> Susan Concero, <laughs> Farhan Faraj. Sarah Fulat, Akil Hussain, with the Backhouse James Prize for Employment Law and the School Certificate of Achievement in Commercial Property and in Employment Law, Ellie Kenyon, Jordan Michael Kingsley Smith, Mohammed Mustafa. Kalia Charlotte Parky Livesey, <laughs> Farhin Patel, <laughs> Samaya Raja, <laughs> Dirin Solanke, <laughs> Anisha Tabassum. With the School Certificate of Achievement in Commercial Insolvency Law, Stephanie Walker Dean. <laughs> Umair Bilal Ahmed. <laughs> Asha Ali. <laughs> Samia Ali. <laughs> Hawagori Apcha. Lindsay Baxter, <laughs> Saba Chilmai, <laughs> Kirsty Frackleton, <laughs> Michael Hadfield, <laughs> Ali Abid Hayat. Wakas Hussain. <laughs> With the School Certificate of Achievement in Accounts, Chantal Anne Monist Good. <laughs> Vicky Margaret Noah. <laughs> Bilal Rasul. <laughs> Medea Raymond. Samantha Jane Robinson, Charlotte Grace Rumsey, Kerry Sharples, Postgraduate Diploma in Legal Practice, with the School Certificate of Achievement in Commercial Dispute Resolution, Isabel Helen Cairns. With the School Prize for Meritorial Performance and the Backhouse James Prize for Business Law and Sp Practice and the School Certificate of Achievement in Professional Conduct, Business Law and Practice, Stephanie Louise Wolm. <laughs> Farnaz Gadimi. <laughs> Prayesh Sanjay Patel. Irfan Akhtar.
Carr. Rebecca Caitlin Alexander. With the School Certificate of Achievement in Property Law and Practice, Nizat Demma. <laughs> Maria Kabir. <laughs> Hafsa Kalik. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Combined Studies, Daniel William Nuttall. Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Criminology and Criminal Justice, Megan Stephen. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts with Honours in Criminology and Sociology, Sana Patel. <laughs> Bachelor of Laws with Honours, Samantha Louise Joel. Craig Edward Naylor. <laughs> Bachelor of Laws with Honours, Peter Alexius Makatos. <laughs> Benjamin Thomas Allen. <laughs> Sarah Brooke Silcock. <laughs> Victoria Gregory. Gregory Hopton, Florence Hugo Reeves Taylor, Suleiman Khan, Tahir Nadim, Mr. Kauza Rafiq. Zane Larger, <laughs> Fizan Zaman, <laughs> Christy Tuka, <laughs> Graduate Diploma in Law, Common Professional Examination, with the School Prize for Outstanding Achievement, David John Ayres. Ping Lu, <laughs> Gillian McNamara, <laughs> Benjamin Porn Kissack, <laughs> Joanna Marie Berenga, <laughs> Darshan Binia Singh Rupan. Syra Lilly, <laughs> Beryl Tanomi Sagai, <laughs> Master of Laws in Law and International Security, Dikshita Lakshmi Apadu, <laughs> Gulnaz Begum. Bradley Harper, <laughs> Ashley Irwin, <laughs> Louise Turner, <laughs> Master of Arts in Accounting and Finance, Samuel Noigeri. <laughs> Master of Arts in Accounting and Financial Management, Hasananatu Yalu. <laughs> Vice Chancellor, that concludes the presentation of awards from Lancashire Law School.
Pro-Chancellor, Vice-Chancellor, the presentations are completed. I call on Lee Hewison, Activities and Participation Officer from the Students' Union of the University of Central Lancashire to respond to, on behalf of those awarded today. Vice-Chancellor, graduates, families, friends and loved ones, it is my honour to stand here before you today and speak on behalf of students. Firstly, I'd like to take this opportunity to congratulate you all on your incredible achievement. You should all be very proud of yourselves. <coughs> University is more than assignments and the exams. It's more than the price paid to better your future. It's more than the piece of paper at the end, because university is an unforgettable experience. The people that you've met and the memories that you've created together make each of your journeys to graduation unique and special. For most of us, studying is only one part of university life. And whether you've became a course rep, joined a sports team or society, or volunteered in a project that you were passionate about, it has moulded you into the graduates that I see here before me today. As graduates of UCLAM, every one of you strengthens this university's worldwide alumni network. Today's award is a landmark in both your personal and professional development and a stepping stone to your future success. The world at this moment in time may seem like a scary place and you may feel like you're heading towards a place of uncertainty. The most natural thing to do would be to stay in your comfort zone, but don't. So now is the time to aim higher, take advantage of the opportunities and take on challenges because the degree you hold in your hands today it's really just your learner's permit for the rest of your drive through life. But don't be disheartened if things don't go right straight away. Remember, if plan A didn't work, the alphabet has 25 more letters, so don't worry. Last but not least, I'd like to thank the families, friends, university staff and loved ones that have joined you here today and supported you throughout your UCLAN journey. I wish you all the best for the future, class of 2017. Thank you. It is now my pleasure to introduce the University of Central Lancashire Chamber Choir. The members of the University Chamber Choir are all students of music theatre within the School of Journalism, Media and Performance. The choir is directed by the University's musician-in-residence, Mark Goggins. The University is extremely proud of the growing reputation and success of the Chamber Choir in recent years, the Chamber Choir has won national competitions, including the BBC Radio 3 Adult Choir of the Year. The Chamber Choir has performed on BBC One, BBC Four and on BBC Radio 3, as well as at many local civic and fundraising events, including concerts with local schools and colleges. Overseas performances include an annual concert tour in France as well as singing at one of our partner institutions in Shanghai. This afternoon, the Chamber Choir will sing May It Be by Enya.
Today is, of course, a day of great celebration for everyone here, and we need to celebrate in an appropriate way. Friends and family, there is a good photo opportunity coming up, so you might like to have your cameras at the ready. Could I please ask all the graduates to stand? And take off your mortarboards. This will be a great relief as I notice that many of them have been balancing precariously on your heads. It's become UCLan's tradition to wave your mortarboard vigorously in recognition of all your hard work and achievements. So on a count of three, I want you to wave your mortarboards in the air and at the same time, I want everyone else to cheer three times. One, two, three. Hip, hip. Hip, hip. Hip, hip. Please be seated. As we bring this ceremony to a close, I would like to thank everyone who has been involved in making today such a happy and memorable occasion. And thank you for coming and for sharing this special day with the university community. I would like to invite you all to return to a reception at the University's Foster Building, where we will continue to celebrate the success of today's graduates. <laughs> Gowns can be left at Foster Building after the event. Please may I ask you all to stand now for the National Anthem. be seated. <clears throat> the platform party will now leave the stage and form a celebratory guard of honour. We are going to conclude the ceremony with a final opportunity to applaud the success of today's graduates. Graduates, you will shortly be processing out of the hall. A university usher will prompt your row when you need to stand up. Please make sure you take all of your belongings with you. Guests, please may I ask that you all remain seated until the platform party has left the hall. You will be able to rejoin your graduate downstairs. Thank you. <laughs>